In this screencast, we'll continue uh, our discussion of composition and uh, recursion, and we'll start with a couple of examples of uh, Theorem 1.1 in Chapter 3 of um, Computability, Complexity, and Languages uh, by uh, Davis, uh, Segal, and Weyuker. Um, that we, uh, we discussed the theorem in uh, the previous screencast on this subject. So let's uh, apply it to show that the function h of x equals uh, 2x is um, computable. So, um, we have uh, shown previously that uh, g of x equals x is computable. It is computable because it is total on natural numbers and uh, we've written an L program that um, uh, actually computes uh, g of x. Right, you can check our previous screencasts on the programming language L the formalism used in uh, computability, complexity, and languages text. So, and then, um, so the idea is to compose to um, 2 times x uh, out of the functions that we have already shown to be computable, because then we'll be able to apply this theorem 1.1 uh, of chapter 3. So, the second function that we have shown to be computable is uh, uh, f of xy. Uh, uh, equals x plus y. So it's addition function and we have shown that it is computable because it is natural, uh, it is, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, it is total on natural numbers and um, mm, there is an L program that computes it. So now um, we need to compose h of x out of these functions and this is easily done because uh, h of x is, equals, um, is equal to uh, the composition of uh, uh, f and g's, two g's. So f applied to g of x and uh, another uh, another g of x. So this is x plus x and this is equal to um, to x, and by theorem mm, uh, uh, 1.1 that we uh, proved in the previous screencast on composition and recursion, uh, h of x is computable because composition preserves computability. Okay, this is from chapter 3. Okay, let's um, go and um, do another example of applying theorem 1.1. So let's um, show that another function h of x equals 4x squared is computable. Again, the trick in these um, uh, proofs is to um, um, decompose uh, h of x into um, computable functions, uh, functions that we have shown to be uh, computable, and then recompose them by using compositions, composition. And then we can apply theorem 1.1. Uh, so um, let's. Um, the first function that we'll uh, take is uh, a function of two arguments f of x y uh, equals times y. And uh, multiplication is computable because a it's a total function on natural numbers, 
and uh, we have a previous text program that uh, um, multiplies to add numbers. So g of x equals uh, 2 times x. It's also computable. h of x equals um, the composition of f and um, two g's and this is equal to um, composition of f and two g's and this is equal to <clears throat> 2 x times 2 x and that gives us 4 x squared and again since we're composing uh, two computable functions then h of x by theorem 1.1 chapter 3 is also computable Okay, let's uh, go on to uh, recursion and uh, formally define it. So um, let uh, g of um, x and y be a total function. So g of x and y is a total function on natural numbers, obviously. And uh, let k be a natural number. So um, we will uh, construct a new function from g such that uh, h of 0 is equal to k and h of uh, t plus 1. t is a number, natural number is equal to g of t and h of t. So there is a reference back to t but on a smaller argument on t not on t plus 1 and if uh, remember that g is a total function and h is um, obtained from uh, g w via these two recurrences then um, h is said to be obtained from g by primitive recursion or simply recursion primitive recursion or simply recursion okay so let's uh, play with a couple of um, examples to get a feel for um, to get some intuition for this uh, definition so h of 0 um, uh, is equal to k then h of 1 by definition is um, uh, 
h of 0 plus 1. g of 0 and uh, h of 0 and that um, is equal to g of 0 uh, k h of 2 is equal to um, h of 1 plus 1, or t plus 1. t in this case is equal to uh, 1. And it's uh, g of uh, 1. h of uh, 1 g of 1 and then uh, h of 1 is equal to uh, g of 0 and k. So there are h of 2 becomes two applications of uh, g. And h of 3 is equal to h2 uh, h plus 1, 2 plus 1. And it will result in three applications of g, all the way from uh, 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 g of 2 and down to g of 0 k so this is g of 2 uh, h of 2 and then h of 2 is just up above it's equal to um, g of 1 and then g of 0 k and so forth